Hi everyone. Welcome replay viewers. This is Julie Jordan Scott and it's time for writing and poetry prompts or poetry prompts and no poetry and writing prompts at the park. You may have guessed I'm not actually at the park today. I'm actually on my front porch because I have oodles and oodles to get done today. So I didn't want to leave my house and so I'm here, you know. Sometimes we have to do what we have to do, right? Um, I'm thrilled to be here, though, and I have a really fun poem to share today. And um, as I share it, or before I share it, I would like to tell you a little bit about what's going on um, over the next few days here at this channel. I will be doing something called the Yay Sayers. And the Yay Sayers is a really cool thing that's happening at 10 o'clock Pacific time, where we will get together and share what we accomplished that day. So, if you're up for accomplishing great stuff, or if you have accomplished great stuff, I invite you to bring your ta-da list, and we'll celebrate together. Okay, so that's coming up 10 o'clock Eastern, or 10 o'clock Pacific time tonight, and also tomorrow night. Finally, our poem today is different. It is from a vintage book that I happen to have called The Marigold Garden by Kate Greenaway. Now, I oftentimes buy books at sales, and this one I got, it says $2, but it was only $1 because I got it on a half price day. And I buy vintage books to use in my art. And um, so I use them for the illustrations oftentimes. See these illustrations here? And I saw this one, I used this illustration, and I saw this illustration, and I said, that is a great image. I went to use that on an art journal page. And then I read the poem with it, and I said, oh, we need to share that in poetry um, and writing prompts at the park. So the poem is about being in that space of wonder. And so your writing prompt today is different than the norm. Your writing prompt is to step into a space of wonder. What is your life experience like when you step into and inhabit a space of wonder? Think about it. <laughs> and as you listen to these words from Kate Greenaway, consider stepping into and staying in that space of wonder just for a moment or two every day. And imagine what it could do for your personal discovery as well as for your writing. <sighs> if you're a fiction writer, it could help you build characters. If you are a personal growth writer, like I do a lot of my writing and memoir writing, Coming from a place of wonder will help you to get more deeply into whatever it is that wants to be discovered. If you are working at writing a memoir as a child or a memoir from your childhood, it's also a good place to go. Because as children, we're a lot more likely to stay in that space of wonder often, regularly. Hey, Lori. Hi. Hi. As an artist, I was talking about how I buy vintage books for art journaling, and the poem today is from this book, Marigold Garden by Kate Greenaway. Hey. So I, I pulled out this page the poem is on to actually use in an art journal. And taken by the, the images and the poem, we're using that. So your prompt is about stepping into a space of wonder, as a childlike as possible, and to write from that space, or actually inhabit that space, and then write from that space. So I'm going to read the poem. When we get to the bottom of the poem, I will repeat a little bit about inhabiting that space. I'm not going to give you specific word prompts, but I think you can find your own specific word prompts from, these, from the poem itself. So this is more about a time of you figuring out <laughs> what will work best for you, and you also being a witness of your world in that space of wonder. So here we go. It's called From Wonder World by Kate Greenaway. Out of Wonder World, I think you come. For in your eyes, the wonder comes with you. The stars are the windows of heaven, and sometimes I think you peep through. Oh, little girl, tell us. Do the flowers tell you secrets when they find you all alone? Or the birds and the butterflies whisper of things unknown? Or do angels speak to you softly? When we only hear a little wind sigh and the peaceful dew of heaven fall upon you while we only see a white cloud passing by.
Oh, to inhabit that space, that childlike space of wonder. And blessings to this. Yes, yes, they're for you. Yes. They're quotes, they're prompts for you to contemplate, to write, to meditate on, to create art from. So on reading this poem, it's, it's really like an adult or an other asking the little girl. And as I read it through, and I've wondered as I read it um, last time, I wondered if this is to a little girl who is with us or a little girl who is in heaven. Um, and I realized as the reader, we can make it be whatever we want it to be. Um, it could even be written from one of ourselves to our little child self or our future self to our now self or our past self. It just There's so many fun ways to play with this. And this is such a seemingly simple poem. I just love it when that happens. Let's take a, le let's take a look at the illustration from Kate, Kate Greenaway for a moment. I'm just going to hold it here and hide for a second. But if you see those little girls, they are upstairs. Hi, Moldova. Um, good to see you. These little girls are uh, girls from the past. And they are upstairs, looking like they're from an apartment. And my guess is they're not the wealthiest little girls. I'm awesome. I'm awesome every day. How are you? So if you want to use those little girls as, in, as an inspiration, you may as well. I really love the, the little girl who's standing up. I love the expression in her eyes. And the little girl sitting down is holding a cat, I think. Kitten, maybe. These are not princess girls. These are not quote-unquote special girls. They're girls like you and me, right? Okay. So I'm going to read the poem one more time, and then you can go about your day and consider what it is like to live in a space of childlike wonder. And as you inhabit that space, what will come up for you, especially vis-a-vis -vis these words in this poem. I will take a picture of the page, and I will tweet it. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, if you want to follow me on Periscope and see my at Julie Jordan Scott name, you can follow me on Twitter, too, and see the whole image. Okay, so here we go. It's called From Wonder World by Kate Greenaway. Out of Wonder World I think you come, for in your eyes the wonder comes with you. The stars are the windows of heaven, and sometimes I think you peep through. Oh, little girl, tell us, do the flowers tell you secrets when they find you all alone? Or the birds and butterflies whisper of things to us unknown? Or do angels speak to you so softly when we only hear a little wind sigh? And the peaceful dew of heaven fall upon you when we only see a white cloud passing by. Those are the words and images of Kate Greenaway. If you're just joining us, I hope you'll watch the replay because we're just about finished. But my name is Julie Jordan Scott. If you haven't met me before, I'm a creative life coach. I work to inspire your artistic rebirth, be it in writing or performance or visual art or journaling or whatever. My work's about coming alongside you to bring life into your projects, whatever they may be. And to perhaps just think differently, but all about inspiring your artistic rebirth and growth. <sighs> so, I'll be back tomorrow at 12.15, 12.30ish Pacific time with poetry and writing prompts in the park or on my porch. And also I'll be back at 10 tonight Pacific time to do a yay sayer session. So you may do that. Start your to-da list now. A to-da list is different than a to-do list. A to-da list is when you get something done, you write it down and you say, ta-da! And I created a sayer so that we could say ta-da together. It's a good way to energize and feel good about what you've actually gotten done. Because sometimes we don't get done what's on those to-do lists, but we get important stuff done. Or we get stuff done that we might have been blocked about, and that's really exciting. Or we get stuff done that just came up, we didn't have it on the to-do list, because it didn't exist until it popped up. So anyway, with all that said, thank you so much for being here.
Thank you for following me, for hearting me, for commenting, for just showing up in any sort of way. I look forward, as always, to the next time that we are together. The world is waiting for your words, your voice. I hope in some way what we cover here helps you to speak and think and be more clear in who you are. You are a blessing to the world and a blessing to me. Thank you so much for being here.